That's the Mr. I Chad to you. I didn't pick it up, damn it. I think if I run out of these, actually. Yep. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> I was like, Surtur actually has a crazy level two fight to try to put people behind, so. Be careful left. Even yeah. a Mulan. No. Totem for the team, totem for the team. What does he have? He's got totem for the team. <laughs> that works. What's up, decoy? How are you doing, friend? Okay. <laughs> well, he's gonna be pretty far back, so. IPV, I guess. I poke. <laughs> if I get five from this, I think I dive. Yeah. No. My dive. I think he might have hit level five if that last minion died. I think that's what he was going for. <laughs> if you want it done right, do it yourself. Oh, he literally did hit five. So it was that last little minion. No, I, I think he hit five after he... I think the minion literally died after he died. I think the second that he died, basically, the minion died. I think it got him five. <laughs> I think? I think. Either way, he died. Take that, Chad. That even is your real name. Didn't even need to ulti. My little minion got the last hit. What a hero, dude. <laughs> what a hero. No, we never say poor Mulan in this meta, dude. Never. <laughs> never! <laughs> Got 
Okay, I'm gonna go on Equinox this time for funsies. Sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. Well, Equinox, even it out. Be careful, <coughs> left. be careful. Left. Enemy has been slain. Did I play a 60k damage or mitigated Mulan today? Yes, yes I did. We never feel bad for Mulans. Not in this meta. Right now, it's just a poor, poor Chad. True. I cannot deny. <laughs> More totems. I must stack my one. I'm stacking. <laughs> <Your left tower. laughs> the wave is just beating on his ass. I kept walking back towards him. He wanted to go clear the wave. <laughs> and he would try to group it up. And then I walk back towards him. He'd go, ooh. Took half his HP from the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Take what is ours. <laughs> He's gotta be a little camp here. I don't want to dive him. And you betrayed me. Betrayed me. <coughs> also, there's a dodgy here. But wait, there's a dodgy here. There's a dodgy here. There's a dodgy there. Dodgy's everywhere. Dodgy's everywhere. Okay. Now you want me to do an arch druid's fury. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god. My starter auto attacks have desynced very quickly. <laughs> very quickly. What? No jungle farm. What? Double no jungle farm. Lame. Lame. What a misfortune. Enforce the code. Yeah. What? Mm, that's a stain. Oh my goodness, that's a stain. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> no. The tower! It's so heroic! <laughs> I think out of the all the damage that was done to me, I think 95% of it was the tower. Tower is a hero, dude. <laughs> the real Chad was the towers we made along the way, you know? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Come on. Okay. Now I rotate. Yes. Yes, I can feel the cleanup crew inside of me. Yes! Can you feel the cleanup crew walking at Maui? Tanking towers so badly, living through the dark. Cool. That works. Oh, I need a hundred gold. Can't back yet. <laughs> Can't back yet. My equinox will save me. That was a little scary on account of the whole two dodgies thing. <laughs> well, scary. Well, scary. Right in your jingle. Golden order, no, no, golden apple, Discordia. Discordia. Is Discordia still in the game? Is that a character you can pick still? You're telling me Discordia is still in Smite? Right now? In Smite. <laughs> Thank you, friend, for your support of the Twitchiest community. Yeah, why not? I mean, she, she's got to be bad, right? She's got to be. We'll find out, but she's got to be bad. Gabe is somewhere growling at me. Grr. Gabe is always somewhere growling at me, I imagine, you know? Yep. Roadhouse. Bearing <laughs> presence. That works. All right. <laughs> I was like, if he's going to leave the tower, then... <laughs> Freesha Vak Adu. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Enemy missing left. Enemy missing left. This has got to be slightly oppressive for them to deal with right now. <laughs> slightly oppressive. All right. <laughs> Sky and his W key, bro.
It's a party. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> Ultimate is down. All right. That will do. It's not a binding time. I am bulletproof. <laughs> That's right, Ganesh. The last totem, the most important one. Good work. <laughs> Everybody knows that the last totem is the most important totem. Any thoughts about verticality Smite 2 would help against other games? I mean, would verticality in Smite 2 help against other MOBAs? No, because all the other MOBAs that did verticality are less popular than Smite 2. Typically, you want to copy games that are more popular than you, not less popular than you, you know? <laughs> Which is why Smite 2 is taking so much inspiration from League of Legends. So much inspiration. Sorry, bud. It took that guy a hot minute to figure out what was happening. <laughs> What's up, Burrito? For two months. Which might do would take from League of Legends the dragon camps that change the map depending on what dragon you kill last. <laughs> I mean, I feel like stuff like that is definitely on the table in Smite too, especially as like the attack gets more optimized and they get better at using it in every patch, you know? <laughs> but. If you want it done right, do it yourself. Sure. GG's, I was the blue buff. A GG's. It makes sense, but you want it to feel more different than Smite. That is Smite 2's conundrum. It is nearly an exact 50 50 split amongst the community. Almost exactly 50% of the people want the game to feel even more different than Smite. And approximately 50% of the people think it feels way too different than Smite. That is one of the biggest hurdles that Smite 2 will have to overcome. Because at the end of the day, it's going to piss off one half of those people, which means you either have to bank that those people are going to play anyway, or you have to say, okay, if we lose those half of players, can we get more than them in the form of new players and then they can suck it? You know, like, that's what it comes down to, right? <laughs> so they got to pick a, they got to pick a lane. Do we do more different or less different? And then they have to realize that approximately half of people are not going to like that choice. And then they got to make up for it elsewhere. That's just the way that it's going to be. Not even gonna be. It's the way that it is. Don't even have to be when it is.
Where'd my team go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where team still be? <laughs> Failing at doing the pyromancer, apparently. <laughs> All right. Attack fire. Attack. Mm -hmm. People like might they just hate all the bugs? Ah, I see. We have found the other side of the argument. <laughs> what do you look at that? Somebody who wants it to be more different, and somebody who says keep it the same and just make it better. If only somebody would have just said that. The reason why it's so hard to on that front is because both people are right. You know, like, it's just, it's literally just a personal preference thing. It's not like a one thing is objectively better than the other, you know? Like, some things is like, oh, this is just a better design decision for down the road. But some things is just like, this just is different and equal, or this just is the same and thus equal. Yeah, it's just a matter of preference, which is why it's going to piss off people no matter what. Attack left lane. I'm on it. I am of the belief that when Smite 2 goes 24-7 at first, it's going to split the player base. Probably 60-40, with the 60 being in favor of Smite 1. So. <laughs> I think when it goes 24-7 Alpha, it'll be about 60-40 with 60 on Smite 1 at the start. And then it's going to be up to Smite 2. Because at that point, Smite 1 will just kind of wither away slowly, right? But Smite 2 has so much growth potential, and it's going to be up to them to figure out whether, you know, is it going to be easier for them to get brand new players, right? Like people that have never really even played Smite before. Do they focus on getting players to come over from Smite 1 to Smite 2? Do they focus on getting players to return? How do they focus on that? Is it through getting streamers to play the game? Is it through supporting their current streamers? Is it through esports? Is it through marketing? Is it through porting over people's fastest go uh, favorite gods as fast as possible? A lot of options. A lot of options. <laughs> they ambushed me. This is ridiculous. I disagree with you, Jay Guy, on that front. I think there's going to be a group of people, sure, that are ornery about the skins, but I actually think it's going to be an insignificant total number of players that don't play Smite 2 because of the skins. I think of all the people that are not going to be playing Smite 2 for all the various reasons, I think that that is the smallest group. <laughs> I think that's the smallest group. Plus... I am 100% sure that at some point, not right off the bat, but at some point, probably within the first year, 
Pyrez is going to port over some, you know, fan favorite Smite 1 skins, and you'll be able to buy 100% of the skin with Legacy Gems. I guarantee it. While most of the skins, you'll be able to purchase 50% with Legacy Gems. I guarantee that at some point, they'll release some, they'll port over some skins from Smite 1 that required less work, and they'll let you buy the whole thing with Legacy Gems because it's a Legacy skin. I guarantee it. <laughs> and people will be like, oh, High Res is so generous. Look at that. We can use our old gems to buy this old skin. And people will be very happy. And then all the people will be like, yay, I'm going to go play it. Please. Which will fix the skin problem. So. <laughs> so. Of all the things that I'm worried about for Smite 2, that is not one of them. When they get truly desperate, they can use the cool side and money. Yeah. Guys, we need cash bad. What do we do? I don't know. Keep releasing the pool side and skin from a decade ago. Jerry, you genius. I was kidding. No, 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 Jerry. You're really on something. We could say it's going to fund esports and then cancel esports. By God! He's a genius! <laughs> they just don't make them like they used to, do they? <laughs> the fact that I'm not worried about it makes you double worried about it. I've been wrong about plenty of things in my life, but I am 90 plus percent of the time right about Smite stuff. Of all the things in this world that I know, it's Smite. And high res And how those combine together. There's a great many other things that I have been wrong about, but... My smite dar is a, a little OP. Speaking of a little OP, 38k damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Speaking of. Mm -hmm. 